Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Sanjoku. You guys know that I read all of your comments. I do not just go through and just click hard on all of them. I actually take the time to read through them. Every now and again, one will jump out to me, and I was like, damn, man, that's a really solid question, or man, that's a really good point. And sometimes I turn them into videos. This is one of those situations. So, Raider7528, we are going to go through your list of questions. I really appreciate you taking the time to comment on the video and give me your thoughts. So let's not waste too much time. Let's go ahead and do this. If you are new to the channel, if you think about subscribing, I really do appreciate that. It really does help me out and keeps this small channel growing. And y'all have no idea how much that means to me. Let's jump into his question. He says, next show, let's discuss the off season and late into the season. Questions like, what if Carr and the Raiders make it into the playoffs but flop game one like they did last time when Carr was injured? First of all, the only reason we flopped game one that season was because Carr was injured. That team was damn damn and they were talking about us being able to go into new england to knock them off to make it into the super bowl and then christmas eve all of our dreams got dashed all at the same time i just remember my brother putting his hand on my shoulder and being like i'm really sorry dude that's the end of your season and he was right he was completely right we did not have a backup in place and you saw the results of it. It was a complete shit show, and we ended up getting bounced out immediately. I will tell you right now, if the Raiders end up making it to the playoffs, even if we do get bounced out that first game, it will not matter. Everybody's jobs will be safe. This team will be damn strong. If we make it to the playoffs, that means we won 11 or 12 games this season, which will lead to some minor tweaks, but it's not going to lead to like Gruden leaving or Carr leaving. It's just going to build that momentum and really kind of push them, hopefully, to the next level after that just my opinion on it let me know your guys thoughts on that all right question number two what if car flops week one against the ravens how long till we see if Mariota is the guy to hold us down till we can find a true starter even if car went out and totally blew it against the ravens he would not lose that starting job he would have to put on a true shit show for about three to four weeks we'd have to be like oh and four with just the offense completely underperforming before you would see Mariota hit that field barring any kind of injury or something like that I'm not worried about Derek Carr losing his job this season. I think that is a valid question, though, because we do have a pretty rough start to our schedule this season. But I really think Carr's going to end up winning that Ravens game. It's going to silence a lot of this. The Raiders winning that home opener against the Ravens for the first time having fans in their brand new state. That game has so much freaking momentum behind it on our side. I honestly think there's zero chance that we blow that. If we lose that game to the Ravens, it's because the Ravens are a truly elite team that we just could not hang with. I think you're going to see the Raiders put on quite a show for that very first game. And I'm excited as hell about it. Let's go ahead and jump into question number three. If the defense looks worse or hasn't improved after year one, do we fire Gus? No. Gus has a pass, like a two-year pass. I promise you that. Even if this defense comes out there and completely looks like shit throughout the season, it's going to be he didn't have his right pieces. He was still building this defense. He was trying to bring people in. He would have to do something so disastrous like to where the defense was just losing us games every single week to where we would actually fire him off of this team. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to tell you right now, this defense is going to look sloppy to open up next season, probably for like the first three to four weeks. But as they start to gel, as this whole system starts to come together, it's going to be looking better and better. I really think the defense will hold up just enough to get us through a couple wins to start the season. But what by like week six or seven, you're going to see this defense really start to come together. And it's going to look like a damn top 10 defense, even though we're going to be ranked around that 20, 25 mark. But by the end of the season, I'm hoping we can jump into like that 20 to 15 mark and if that's the case we are a playoff contender and the freaking sky is the limit at that point question number four who are you looking at to replace Gruden and Carr the two biggest question marks on this team if either underperformed this season I would honestly have to take a deeper look into that to see which coaches are coming off of it and to lead into your next question take a look at the 2022 free agency and 2022 QB draft I would have to really research into that. I do not pay attention to other teams, like free agents, like I do with the Raiders. Those draft boards change on a daily basis, especially as you're getting closer and closer to the draft. So I don't want to speculate on anything yet. I think it's way, way too early. I know there's been a lot of videos put out there about Adams coming over to the team. I think Derek Carr would love that. I think it is a possibility, but I'm not going to put any weight or any stock behind that just because of some Twitter posts. And as far as Gruden and Carr, I'm not expecting it to be any kind of issue. I think those two are going to end up 
playing a pretty damn good season this year. They're going to carry it one more year after that. We're eventually going to move on from Mariota. That's just the way it is. That kid wants to be a starter. He deserves to be a starter. He realizes the clock is ticking, and he wants to get one more shot at this before he ends up having to hang it up. I don't blame him for that, so if we wanted to keep Peterman and then draft a rookie quarterback next year and let Mariota get a little bit of trade value if we can't, just kind of let him set free because that dude is taking up like a good chunk of change in the back end of his contract. But right now, I'm just pulling for Gruden and Carr. Like, more than anything else, I am pulling for those two individuals to go ahead and get us a winning season and make this turn man we've been waiting for this turn for so damn long if we can finally get over that hump and like I said if we make it to the playoffs nothing else dude I'd just be so damn happy if we made it to the playoffs we lost that first game yeah I would be pissed but we still made it we showed that we have truly improved as a team we had the depth and we had the offense and the defense to make it and to be a playoff caliber team that's the kind of shit that builds teams, especially young teams, and that's what I want to see happen this season, so I'm not even going to be talking about replacements until we have to talk about replacements. So that's pretty much what I have for you guys tonight. Raider7528, thank you so much for the questions. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the rest of you guys enjoyed this video. If you could click that like button on your way out, it really does help me out and keep me growing. But until next time, guys, I'm Sanjoku, and we will see you all later.